Parents, do you know how to set a good example online for your kids? Well, why is it important to model positive behavior online? When it comes to learning responsible social media and internet use, kids are best guided by observing positive behaviors. Just like learning to drive, kids will witness adults using devices long before they ever get access to one. Here's some digital safety statistics. Only 10% of parents with children under 10 have talked about appropriate online behavior and threats. 21% of parents admit that relationships with their children have been damaged as a result of them being seen in a compromising situation on social media. The Wall Street Journal says parents can set a good example for students by being careful about what photos they post. And Independent News says parents who worry about their children constantly staring at their smartphones should set an example by not using their own devices so often. The best way parents can encourage students to avoid online gossip is to avoid partaking in it themselves. Parents can consider teaching students that manners matter offline, online, and especially on social media. Now, it's very natural for parents to say, I'm not a tech person, I'll never be good at this. However, it's very important that you as a parent take the time to get on the devices, the apps, the networks, the games, and online activities that your children partake in. By spending time and hanging out where your kids are, you will better be able to ensure that your kids are safe online. And most importantly, this will open up opportunities to have a healthy dialogue with your students if they ever see something inappropriate online, they will feel more comfortable coming back to you to talk to you about the apps and the instances they saw online. For students to shine online, it's important that they put their best foot forward. Parents can model this behavior by ensuring that everything they post is a positive representation of themselves. Now, everybody has a bad day, and it's healthy for students to vent when they're frustrated. A great way to encourage children to avoid using social media to vent is to set an example. Teach kids that if they're having a bad day, to reach out to someone via text message, talk to someone in person, or call a friend when they want to vent. Another great way for students to monitor their online footprint is to routinely Google themselves to see what search results come up. If students see their parents searching for themselves online and have a dialogue about why it's important, then they might be more inclined and encouraged to do the same for themselves. Also, it's important for parents to be aware of the photos they're posting, especially if they're group photos. Before posting any picture on social media, parents consider asking yourselves if this picture is something that you would like your kids, your kids' friends, or your employer to see online. Next, anonymous apps don't help to build a positive online footprint. Parents should consider avoiding using anonymous apps or encouraging their kids to use them since it will entice students to spend time on these apps as opposed to apps that could improve their Google results and build a positive online portfolio for colleges to someday see. Consider reminding your teen to always be light, bright, and polite online, whether that's on Zimi, Facebook, LinkedIn, or any other of the social networks that are in our green zone. Also, motivate your student to only use social networks that positively impact their digital footprint. The best way to do this is to have them only use apps that are tied to their real identity, which encourage better behavior. Click on the link in the upper left to learn how to shine online. Be sure to subscribe in the upper right and watch the videos in the middle of the screen to learn how to keep your kids safe and smart on the internet. I'm Josh Oaks with SafeSmartSocial.com. As always, keep it light, bright, and polite. Have a great day.